right, tonight I'd like to start by introducing you to some victims. First victim, the ant. The natural prey of the ant eater. Next victim, the fish. This fish found a bear hunting. <laughs> Next victim, the water buffalo. Water buffalo meets the king of the jungle. Next victim, the seal, the victim of a breaching shark. Our last victim, not to be outdone, the poor college student. <laughs> yes, that's right. We are all potential victims of a very subtle predator. This predator sits behind his desk, rounds up a pack of marketing wolves to try to find ways to steal what little money you don't have through cleverly targeted advertising. <clears throat> I have been victimized already by the cunning ways of the advertising agency, as evidenced by my purchasing of both the ab roller and the ab slide. This tragedy occurred after viewing those enticing infomercials that are long enough to be feature films. <laughs> it's my hope that my experience will help you have the knowledge you need to avoid such traps. Today I will tell you why and how advertisers focus on college students and also give you specific steps you can take to avoid being, being victimized. The first and perhaps the most important reason we are targeted as college students is to try to instill brand loyalty. The Harvard Business Review defined brand loyalty as follows. In marketing, brand loyalty consists of a consumer's commitment to repurchase the brand and can be demonstrated by repeated buying of a product or service or other positive behaviors such as word of mouth advocacy. I have brand loyalty to Juice, known as, or Juice company named Simply Orange, which happens to be drastically more expensive than the rest of their competitors. And despite me being a poor college student trying to save money for a mission, my brand loyalty always wins out and I buy the expensive juice. Another reason that companies will target us as college students is because they're aware of some pretty big purchasing decisions that face us. Some of these may include a house, a car, or for some people, here at BYU especially, a wedding ring. Um, speaking of wedding rings, some of you may have noticed that on the back of the thousands of complimentary beanies that were handed out at the football game, that on the back of them was embroidered beautifully, Shane Co. This is a perfect example of targeted advertising. <clears throat> All right. And this is coming more and more frequent. We see these advertisements because the, the buying power of college students is just now being recognized. In an article published by American Demographics, we find college students wield $200 billion in buying power each year. It may be time to set aside any preconceived notions about these co-eds and start thinking of them as serious consumers. Now, how are they so effective at targeting college students? The answer is fun. It's probably their most effective weapon with us. We're all in a pursuit to find what we perceive to be fun. It is, <clears throat> sorry. Okay. As I was in my efforts looking for some advertisements, I ran across this. I don't know about you, but I see a lot of people on campus with iPods that don't look like they're having that much fun. Uh, this specific advertisement also uses a color scheme to appeal to fun. <clears throat> also, advertisers have a major edge, um, especially with college audiences, because we are all on the confines of one campus. Just as I came, came in here today before, I walked through campus and just picked up a couple, picked up a couple um, advertisements that I found. And this is what they had. In the daily universe, you will find coupons which is good for college students because it makes us think we're getting a good deal. Um, next, I thought it was kind of funny, the housing guide. And our favorite and most commonly viewed advertisement on BYU campus. Yes, this is the bridal guide. Okay, so be skeptical. If something seems too good to be true, it's probably because it is just that. <clears throat> be wise, know your budgets, and be cautioned. In a collegiate newspaper, the Gazette, they caution, ultimately, consumers must educate themselves. We have the freedom to choose brands, but we cannot blindly settle on advertising claims. We must heed this advice. Targeted advertising surrounds us. <clears throat> we must not let our guard down. We must not be victimized. So I challenge everyone here to be on the lookout. 
and have your, gullets, have your wallets guarded. As you leave, be wary of the predator and the traps being set so you don't become a victim of advertising. Thank you.